So I got my hands on the new Lagopus chair from Tragopan. I like the cockles, it comes in a sturdy carrying bag. There's even an additional space in here so that I can carry one of my favorite additional items with it. 3D blanket. Right, so let's have a look at the chair itself. On the Lagopus S chair, you can actually adjust the front height of the roof. So to do that, open up these clips inside, adjust it to the height you want, and you fasten them again. The chair comes with two big side pockets, that side. Now the material is ripstop polyester. So this is the Lagopus S chair, so small chair. There's not a massive size difference in the two. But the Lagopus B, a little bit bigger, most likely a little bit comfier, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, and you also have some armrests on the side with a cup holder. On the Lagopus B chair though, you can't actually adjust the height of the front that is stationary. First off, I wanna show you guys the dedicated tent for the Lagopus chairs. And it comes in a very handy small carrying bag and quite light, easy to take with you. So it's very similar to all the Tragopan tents, but obviously it doesn't come with any poles or anything like that. The chair and the roof is what gives the hide its structure. It's really easy to put on the tent. You basically just throw it right over. Interchangeable windows. We got the mesh one on here right now. Quite a big window, so it gives you plenty of viewing space. There's also three windows up top, but there's window shutters that you can close from the inside if you want to make it dark. Now you also get some interchangeable windows. We got the mesh slit and an, an opaque one for for your lens with the standard opening up top for a flashlight or if you just want to use it to see through. Now when you put up your tripod, one tripod leg in between your legs is most likely going to be the most comfortable, give you enough space to kind of move your legs while you're in there. As you can see here, the hide is quite loose. It's made this way so you can peg it out on each side and there's a strap inside that you can tighten it afterwards so that it doesn't go flapping too much in the wind or anything like that. I'm not going to use this hide this time around, I'm going to use the 3D blanket. So I'm going to show you guys quickly though how to set this up. Just put up your tripod, lens on, and put it up to where you want it so you're sitting comfortably with a lens out the shooting window. Closing down the doors, and then we can use four pegs to peg each corner to the ground. I like to stretch it a little bit out so that I have additional room for a bag or a thermos or anything like that that I want to have with me. I'm going to take this back off though and I'll show you guys quickly the 3D camel blanket. Okay, so very easy to put up, very easy to take down. Now I'm going to put on the 3D camel blanket, which is what I'm going to be using tomorrow photographing red squirrels. So one of the best ways to put it up is to set up your tripod with the lens in front of the chair where you want to have it. And then we'll basically just drape the 3D camel blanket around it. There are strings on the 3D camel blanket which aligns with these little holes here on the roof of the Lagopus. Now bear in mind though this is a prototype so I think the newer version will have a little bit that makes it even easier to attach any kind of string to it. Right now I just really easily tied one tie around here and just let it hang around. You can be as careful with that as you see fit. And to get in, obviously, you're just gonna have to lift up and get in. And what's really great about the 3D camel blanket, which makes it one of my favorite bits of camel material, is that when you get really close to the material, you can put your face right up against it, and you basically just see right through it. So you get a really good visual of what's around you. I'm gonna take this with me tomorrow morning, and we'll photograph some red squirrels. I'll see you out there.
that's quite comfortable actually, just sitting like this. And um, I have enough room. I've got my one tripod leg between my legs, my bag on the side. Um, obviously, if I move around a bit, the whole thing moves a bit, so I gotta be careful that nothing's around it. Um, but the squirrels don't, don't really mind that much. And if I make sudden movements with the camera, So I would say I really like this arrangement with the 3D blanket, especially the new 3D blanket which has the, the sleeve that is attached to the blanket, which is perfect. That just sits there, ready for your lens to go through. Check out the website tragapan-shop.com. If you're in the US or Canada, check out photographyblinds.com. Get a hold of one of these chair blinds. They're on pre-sale now. The tent itself is going to be available in December and these chairs will be available soon, so do check it out. That is some really cool gear that I'm excited to be using. <laughs> <laughs> 